So one of the adjustment layers that came along a while ago that's kind of interesting, but, well, it's interesting. The challenge with it is they, they're, it's only presets. So most adjustment layers, yeah, most adjustment layers have settings you can adjust in some way, and if you like them, you can save a preset, like for curves or hue saturation or black and white. This adjustment layer called color lookup is only presets. So there's no controls or sliders. You just apply a preset and either you like it or you don't but I'll show you why it has some interesting possibilities as we move forward. So we go to color lookup, and we have all of these names which somebody created, and it's just like, you just have to try them because like turquoise sepia, okay, no idea. So you try that and it's like, oh, that's weird, but maybe interesting. So you can go to all these ones, and these are the ones where it's like edgy amber, what is that? No idea. So you try, okay. Um, remembering that this is still an adjustment layer. So once we have tried one of these presets, we could still change the blend mode, paint on the mask, use the blend if slider. So we don't, one of the recurring themes here is don't look at this as, oh, I don't like that. That's too intense. That's just the way it comes out of the box. But then you can make it your own by doing one of these other settings. It just doesn't happen in the adjustment itself. It's not like, curves or levels where you move sliders, here you have to deal with blend modes and opacity and the blend if sliders and masking to get it to look the way you want, okay? So that's kind of the concept of color lookup. What's become interesting is now we can create our own color lookup ourselves. And this answer is a question that, that was asked so often where people would say, okay, so I created a, a particular look that I liked in Photoshop by doing multiple things like an adjustment layer with a mask and a blend mode and all this stuff and it would have maybe three adjustment layers to create this look that I wanted and people used to always ask can I create a preset of that somehow and the answer was always no because there you could make a preset for each individual adjustment but you couldn't make one for the combination of all of them well now you can and that's very interesting because now it means I could create a look that's made by several different adjustment layers together instead of trying to remember all of those, save it as what it looks like one adjustment layer. So it's pretty simple to do. So we'll just, we'll make a look here. I'm just gonna experiment and try some things. Use an adjustment layer, but change it to multiply and lower the opacity. And then let's do some saturation, maybe colorize that. I have no plan here, by the way. I'm just drying things. I am guarantee you it's not going to look pretty at the end, but it's just to demonstrate. It might look okay. Uh, and then let's use uh, maybe just some curves. All right, we're going to use our vivid imaginations and say, that is fantastic. Now, I just, to make a point, I could also go into the blend if sliders as well. So anything you would do within layers. So it's not just um, the layers themselves, it's the blend modes you're using, whether you're doing anything with uh, opacity, et cetera. So now I've created this look and I have a whole bunch of other photographs that I desperately want to look just like this because it's so fantastic. Uh, so instead, I mean, I suppose I could just drag those three adjustment layers all the time, but maybe it's an ongoing project where I want to just know it's available to me. So the way we do it is we pop over to the file menu to export, and we're going to export color lookup tables. And then we're going to, the main ones we use are the top two. There's other ones that have other purposes. Color lookup tables, by the way, one of the advantages of them is they're also shared with things like video editing programs. So if you want to have a particular look that was in a video editing program like After Effects or Premiere or something like that, you could do that as well. So we're going to call this lovely because it is so lovely and hit save. So now if I had another similarly taken photograph, instead of trying to A, remember how I did it, or B, go and drag those over, let's pretend this was now days later and I'd close that other file so I suppose I could go and open it, etc. But instead I just go to the color lookup and then right here where it says load, I'm going to go load and find the one I just made and hit open. You see now it's the same look but see how it's one adjustment layer? 
So instead of having to always be three. Now, that's great that the only, if there is a downside to it, it means I can't delve inside those individual adjustment layers anymore. So that it's, it has some pros and cons. But if you've created a look that you really like, and you know you want to use it as is on multiple images, just remember the original one did have blend modes and opacity, et cetera. That's in that original.